What is going on guys? Today we're inside the Celica. For this video, we're going to be working on the interior, mainly getting rid of these red pieces. When I bought this car, it came like this already. The red painted center dash and the around the gauges, as well as like the hood up there and like something on the back. But we're going to deal with the outside in a different video. This is going to be focused on just these interior pieces. So I am going to show how to remove these. And it's pretty simple in the Celica. For this piece, there's just uh, a screw here and a screw here. They're Phillips heads. And then you can pull this thing out. Um, as for the center, it may look complicated, but it's pretty simple as well. Just a bunch of clips. This is just clips that has to come out first. There's a plug for this thing. I think that this and the top is one piece that should just pull off, but you have to take off these knobs before doing so, and they just pull off. And then this can just come off like that. Uh, ignore the sound, it is raining outside unfortunately, so it's a little noisy, but um, a little story to tell. When I bought this car, I asked about why he decided to paint it red. And the guy I bought it from didn't paint it red. He said the kid who had him before painted this red. It was like a very young guy who didn't have a license. And he inherited this car from his grandfather, I think, is how the story goes. And in the time he was just waiting to get his license because he was too young, he decided to do some mods and painting it red was one of them. It wasn't even done very well. As you can see, there's like a lot of weird texture and a lot of dust in it. Um, really, I'm not, not enjoying it. So luckily for me, I got another one of these right here. I got this off of a parts car and it's in uh, pretty great shape. This is off of a 2005 Celica, lucky me, so uh, it's pretty nice. I did find another one from a 2000 Celica, but it had like sun damage right here. This one's pretty nice. So you can see where the screws go on the top. So here's my screwdriver. Just gonna one right here and one right here and it helps if you have like a smaller screwdriver I'm gonna try using this one uh, I'm not sure if it'll work but if you have something that's like short maybe this big that would be a lot easier okay so the screwdriver I was using was too long so I brought out my other bits and these are short enough to fit in this space Okay, the last little bit didn't record, but I just said that this is bolted in now, and it looks way better. And we're starting on the center dash now, so you start by pulling out this bit. Put your fingers in here and pull up on both sides. And you pull it. I, my phone's messing me up, but like I said, you pull this away from the dash. You take off these screws, you just, they pop off. This pops off as well, but I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. And then you can just pull this off as well. Okay, slight discovery. I found out that it's very helpful if you put a screwdriver in here and push up. And that can get the this uh, switch to unclip. Don't want to put it against the trim though, the screwdriver, else you might scratch that up. So now that's out. And it turns out that there are two more screws in here, one right there, and one right there that are Phillips. And after we remove those, we should be able to pull this out as a whole. Uh, and there is a clip for the clock, and there is a also a wire here, a clip for the uh, cigarette lighter. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to unscrew those uh, little screws. Okay, I just tried pulling on it and found out that there are two more screws below one they're kind of hard to see there's one right here it's another phillips it's right there and you can probably see this one there's one right right here there's another one so i think those are the last screws i have to take off 
and then we can pull it out. Uh, if you try pulling out just this top piece first, uh, it won't come out. You might unclip it from here, but it is like connected here to uh, this piece. So you don't want to remove this without having this unscrewed or else you probably would snap whatever is uh, between them. So I've got the center piece off, have it over here. So to take this off, you just turn counterclockwise and your shift knob will come off. Don't know what it is for an automatic though. And uh, there's one clip on the back, I've disconnected it. It's uh, down here somewhere now, it's this one. Now we've taken off all the screws. There's four in total, two up top, two on bottom, uh, three knobs plus this one that moves back and forth. And now very gently there we go it's out and there's just one more clip on the top and now we can start uh, painting not painting but wrapping in this case and yeah so that's how you remove the center in a uh, silica It's a new day, it's super sunny outside, so we are working in my backyard. Uh, we're gonna start with this piece. Uh, I'm gonna remove this. This is removable, and it's just a few screws on the back, just two, one right here and one right here, and this will come off. And so what we're using to remove this uh, paint is right here. This is a uh, pure acetone. So this should be able to remove it, hopefully. Uh, I noticed on the sides that there is like, uh, this thing's been primered before it was painted, so there might be more work to get it off. Hopefully the finish, the original finish is still decent under there. Uh, regardless, I am going to wrap this thing, but I want this red off because it has such a heavy texture on it. If you look carefully, it's a, uh, yeah, not smooth at all. It's got a lot of dirt and dust in it. I've also got gloves, tissues, shop rags, what you want to call them. And that's just a bottle of water and soap in case, you know, I, in case we need it. So I'm going to start by removing this piece. You just need two Phillips. And... That's one. There we go. And then I think it's some clips as well, so I'm not sure which way to push. Hmm. Yeah, definitely it's clipped in right here. There's three spots. It looks like it's clipped in. Uh, you may have to push these in with a screwdriver. Just figured it out. Uh, you don't need to push the clips. It actually slides to the side. So, uh, just look here. I'm going to slide it. Okay, it's pretty difficult with one hand, but it does slide to like that. It slid to the side and now we can take it off. And there we go, that's how you get that piece off. We'll put that aside and we'll put in these screws so I don't lose them. And now we can work on removing the red finish. Alright, I've taken a, a shop rag and I've damped it with uh, the acetone, so I guess we'll just start. Not sure what to expect. Not sure how long this is going to take. So we're just starting in a small spot. And it looks like it's... Yeah, it's already starting to come off a little bit, but it's also dragging the tissue. I should have used probably a microfiber towel or some sort of cloth might have been better. It's 
definitely doing something. Hmm. It's dried up really fast. It might be because it's so hot out or because there's the paint's just very thick. But I'm just going to continue rubbing it with this until we see some progress, so I might be here for a while. So this is where we're at now. Uh, it took a while, but it's not very good at taking off the primer of this acetone stuff. So because of that, uh, it also got down to the actual plastic and it's where... It's wearing away the original finish, so I don't think there's any salvaging that. So I decided I'm going to use some paint stripper, and I should take care of this a lot quicker. And I also I used up like a quarter of this acetone. It's a small half half a liter almost container. So yeah, now we're going to use the stripper, and we're going to use the acetone to clean up afterwards. Stuff's getting quite old. But yeah, I'm just gonna go over the whole thing like this, and then we're gonna check back in. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. And so now we can start kind of scraping at it. Uh, hasn't bumbled up everywhere, but it has in the most places. This, uh, this paint stripper I'm using, I've had it for ages, so I guess it's starting to lose its uh, ability. Oh. Very interesting stuff. Yeah, it's definitely, it's peeling up the original paint as well. Okay, now I'm starting to think maybe this part was painted silver, like, again, but because this is, like, looking okay down here, the rest of this plastic. I just realized I've made a horrible mistake. As you can see, we the plastic is cracking horribly, and when I was trying to scrape it, huge it was like the material was uh, melting and coming up, and this is all squishy now and it's lost its shape. And I realized you aren't supposed to use paint stripper on plastic stuff, so learn from me. Don't do that. That was bad. I think I can salvage this. I'm probably gonna have to put filler on this, which is also something you're not supposed to do, but I don't have another one of these. So I'm just gonna make this one work. So we're gonna use acetone to continue getting the rest of the paint off. I guess the paint stripper did help in some areas. It didn't damage the plastic, it just took it off. But right here, this plastic's different. Uh, this one as well and it absolutely just ate into this so yeah 
I'm gonna continue cleaning this up with just acetone. Okay, so we're gonna start by wrapping this piece. This is the top of the center console. Cleaned it up pretty well. Didn't really care about the uh, inside bits because uh, you can't see those. So this is what we're wrapping with. I got this off of Amazon. This is, I think this is, I actually don't know what brand this is, but this is like a carbon fiber wrap. Um, this is 6D carbon, uh, which basically means it's like real glossy and it's supposed to have some good depth to it, uh, which is what I prefer. Uh, the lower number Ds, if you look up this stuff, it's like uh, lower Ds are less glossy, they look more flat. Um, that's like 1D, 2D stuff. Um, but yeah, this is supposedly 60, so you can really see it. I like this a lot more, so this is what we're working with. I've never actually worked with wrap before, so I don't know what to expect entirely. Okay, right away I can see that there's like a film on top, so it's probably like a protective film. As you can see, I was struggling a lot wrapping this piece and I really set myself up in a bad starting position because the wrap that I'm using, even it's very nice to look at, it's very glossy, it's very, uh, has a very good depth to it, uh, but because of that it's like super thick and thick wrap doesn't really stretch well, it doesn't uh, f fold very well over stuff. so. That was really difficult to work with and the pieces that I'm wrapping are also really complicated you know they're not just flat they have a lot of grooves a lot of um, curves like a lot of the 90 degree curves around the insides I wanted them to look nice but it kept folding and creasing so I got really frustrated I stopped recording this part and I just took photos as I progressed and it took me a really long time but it looked really good in the end. So here's these photos. Alright guys, it's a few days later and I've totally finished wrapping these parts. Uh, here they are. I think it turned out pretty well. So now we're going to go back to installing it here. I've been driving it just bare for a few days. Uh, it's getting really hot out now, so I'm feeling so out of breath. So first, I'm gonna move my phone mount out of the way, and I left the four screws in the plastics. So we're gonna remove those, and then we can pop back in the these pieces.
So, oh, that's right. We have to plug in the clock first. Hey, you know, this is pretty difficult. This one I have. There we go, guys. It's in, and it looks great. Actually, it looks pretty good. There are some minor imperfections. The edges were really tough. All these edges. It's just like a nightmare, but overall, I think it looks pretty dope. This bright shift boot looks pretty good with this as well. It's way better than the red. The rest of my interior is still pretty dirty though. But this is a super cheap mod. $15 mod off Amazon and the acetone I used was like $10 from the entire did it all the doors and stuff separately and everything works this is a little iffy but it's working good yeah if you like the video leave a comment Thanks for watching and peace out.